Eleven members of the G20 have condemned the Syrian government for its alleged use of chemical weapons. The group released a statement today calling for a strong international response against Bashar al-Assad. But it stopped short of calling for military action. Earlier in the day, Russian President Vladimir Putin and U.S. President Barack Obama met privately on the sidelines of the summit to discuss Syria. Today, the U.S. State Department ordered all non-essential diplomats out of its Beirut embassy. It's concerned about possible strikes on U.S. targets by Syrian government allies. It is also urging Americans to avoid travel to the region. Another honour today for Malala Yousafzai, the Pakistani girl who survived a Taliban assassination attempt. She was awarded this year's International Children's Peace Prize. Malala has been a strong advocate for girls' education in Pakistan. Award organisers called her a brave proponent of children's rights. Canada added 59,000 new jobs last month. That's more than twice what economists were predicting. The jobless rate fell to 7.1%, down from 7.2%. Stats Canada says most of the new jobs were part-time and taken by older workers. The Blue Nose 2 was back in the water today after being docked for restoration for three years. Nova Scotia's government put more than $16 million into the refit. The schooner must still undergo lengthy testing before it can be declared seaworthy. The province bought the ship back in 1971 for just $1 to save it from being scrapped. There's a lot of buzz around this photo. It shows Chicago Black Ops captain Jonathan Taves wearing what some people believe is Team Canada's new jersey for the Sochi Olympics. Canadian hockey fans have responded with mixed reviews. The photo was reportedly taken yesterday at the media tour for NHL players. It was posted online and then taken down shortly after, fueling speculation it had been accidentally leaked.